The string of exits following Britain's decision to leave the European Union that continues. UK Independent Party leader Nigel Farage announcing that he is stepping down after leading the effort to part ways with the EU. This coming after Boris Johnson's decision to stand down from running for prime minister, leaving the country with a leadership void. Here to weigh in is editor of Hate Street, Louise Mensch. Louise, who are the, how does this turn out in terms of, at least in the short run, who's the prime minister? Of well, well, David Cameron continues to be the prime minister. So as a matter of fact, although it's being described in America as chaotic, it's really not that chaotic. Barack Obama <laughs> is your president while you have a presidential election in exactly the same way the prime minister, David Cameron, remains the prime minister while we have a leadership election. Well, I think the reason it looks so chaotic is because it's, it's not clear who the next generation of leadership would be. Uh, you know, after Boris Johnson took a step back, you know, it looks like you've got a vote of non confidence in, in Labour. It's just not clear, like, who the, 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 the players are. Well, anymore. I certainly agree with you about the Labour Party, who are the, 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 British, de the British Democrats, who are having yeah. their own complete disaster. crisis. I think we yeah. will see the deputy leader, Tom Watson, take over there. Mm -hmm. And right now, in the UK, the Conservative Party, the governmental party, is voting. Mm -hmm. And I think it's likely to be one of uh, Theresa May, Michael Gove, or Andrea Leadsom, all of them um, very solid politicians. Michael Which Gove. People are talking you think about. He's still Michael a viable Gove, candidate. That's absolutely. Interesting. He's been yes, because although you haven't heard much talk about him, it's a redistributive ballot. Mm -hmm. So there are two down ticket candidates who probably won't get many MPs. When they drop out, some of their support may redistribute, so there could be some surprises yet. Americans, uh, we, we don't know these people. Tell us about Theresa May. Who, who, who is she? Well, she What's was she behind. Like? She was for remaining in the European she Union. She was remaining which is, in the European Union. Yeah. Yes, she was. But she does seem to have accepted the will of the people. She says Brexit is Brexit. So one need not panic. She's, as it were, the interior minister. It's a pretty senior job in the UK. Well, shouldn't, it be, domestic security. shouldn't it be a prerequisite for whoever takes Conservative Party leadership uh, that they were for exit? Yeah, well, I certainly think so. <laughs> so hopefully do a lot of Conservative Party voters. The members of Parliament, like the Congress, will deliver us two candidates, and then party members will have a vote. I certainly hope that a Brexiter comes through the middle there. You know what, Louise, I can't get over as an American that's watched this unfold, is seeing Boris Johnson and Nigel Farage push this campaign through, they get their way, and then they say, okay, we're done. Well, actually, that, that's a, a, a tenable to me. I mean, let, let, let's that. be clear about this. Nigel Farage did not lead the campaign to leave the European Union. He lost a legal battle to lead that effort. He was completely pushed out because of his far-right views, and his party, UKIP, actually fired him at the uh, committee meeting. He was hoping to get rid of their only member of parliament. Instead, the party that he leads turned around and sacked him. So it so was a kind of case of keep jobs. Is a case of de declare, vi declare victory and retreat? Well, I think so. I think when you've just been fired and you say, I quit, that's quite a common thing in business and in politics, and that's what Spending happened Spending time with, with my family. Okay. Yeah, he's going to spend more time with his ego. But the next prime minister is going to have to, is going to, have to work to bring, bring people together, are they not, in, in terms of the that people who true. voted to remain and the people who voted to, to exit? That is true, but again, I would say that is always true with any heavily contested election we always have every president of the United States saying that they are going to represent everybody that did not work out so well with President Obama I would argue but let's hope that Theresa May or Michael Gove or whoever is selected as our next prime minister can work on bringing the country together. Yeah, hope and change. Louise, you're not the only person who would argue that, uh, that Americans didn't come together because we have a, an electorate divided and in all corners in a way that we haven't had in recent history. Thank you so much. It's great Thank to you. see you. Thank Louise you. Mench. Coming